it's like 10 15 woke up at 9 30 so late but i was so tired i slept really late i made me some tea this is the tea mama avic gave me last night and just trying to clear this out so it's not on the table putting them away and stuff like that super excited about this Tupperware all the top of the container just kind of clicks onto them so you don't have all this stuff all over the place it's more organized oh and then you can also put the Tupperware right here I think yeah see it stays This is awesome. Can't wait to use them tomorrow for my lunch. Now I don't have to microwave Tupperware. I actually have a couple of, um, three actually, of uh, glass Tupperware that I use for work. I have this Pyrex here, and then this, I don't know what brand this is. I got this from TJ Maxx. And then I have another Pyrex right here it's on the longer side i only use it when the other two isn't clean and sometimes i ran out and i have to use plastic because sometimes i don't start the dishwasher if it's not too full because i don't want to waste water so i have a couple of um plastics there that i may want to get rid of now someone's too tired oh did i show this to you guys i can't remember we got new pillows from Target um, this two came together I think it was 25 bucks I can't remember and then I gave the wool one that was over there to my sister because Haru's allergic to wool you can follow me are you following me you still tired? You still tired from playing all day yesterday at grandma and grandpa's? Hello. It's lunch time. I'm super hungry. Sorry about that noise. Got Roomba cleaning the kitchen here and the vent is on, the microwave is on. I am eating. Kare kare, Filipino dish my mom made last night. She gave me some to go. These are all just regular meat. She said she used dry tip. Um, I don't eat the stuff like um, tripe. And I even have bagoong, which is, if you don't know what it is, it's, um, I think, fermented shrimp paste, I think. Super salty. Most people don't like it. I'm not sure salty enough. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm having for lunch. So excited. I think I just milked my rice. I think it's too hot. She gave me a lot of bagong. I guess I'll just save it. There it is, lunch! So the new skincare routine in the morning, I use my, well first I wash my face with my proactive cleanser every morning and then I use my NARS multi-action hydrating toner and then I've been using the Estite. I still have no idea how to pronounce this. I should probably look it up since I mentioned this brand so much. But anyway, Esti or Este Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Reco Recovery Complex 2. And then after that, I use my moisturizer, which is almost empty. But this is the Shantakai Bio Lifting Oil Free Fluid. And then. I use my new thingy. 
eye cream. It is La Roche. La Roche Posay. It is like a drugstore brand in uh, France. Um, but it is the Redermic R for eyes. It is, it's got retinol in it. And this is my very second brand. Um, the retinol brand I've ever tried. I tried Rock. That was a little too much for me. Um, the stuff for the face was too heavy and so is for the eyes. Um, it made me really oily and it doesn't feel good on the skin. At least for me. A lot of people like that um, brand but it didn't work out for me. That was a while ago too. Um, so I decided to give this a shot because I really am noticing aging and I am freaking out. My night routine, I use my honey as a... Let me grab it. Okay, I'm back. So, every other night, I cleanse my skin with honey. Currently, I am using this organic whipped honey by Mad Hava. It's an organic kind. I just used a spoon to scoop it out so I don't have to contaminate it. I guess it's still kind of contaminated because this is, I don't wash it all the time. I rinse it, but I don't soap it. But, I don't know. I use it with this. And then, that's every other night. And then when I'm not using that, I am using my CeraVe, CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. It's almost out. Randy uses this too when he's in the shower. Uh, <coughs> um, and when I'm using that cleanser, I have been using my new Corel. I guess this is like a Swedish Clarisonic. Um, so you don't have to change the brush. So every other day when I'm not using my honey, I use this with this soap. And then I use, after shower, I use my toner. And then I use my um, serum also, same one. And then I use my moisturizer, same thing also. And then the what's different is I add this. It's also La Roche Passay. And this is also the... Redermic R, but this is for your whole face. It's also got retinol. After I use that, I'm using this Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. Awaken, Repair, Renew. It's got tons of um, good stuff for your eyes. It's a really cool thing. Um, container, so pretty much you just, I'm not gonna show it to you guys because I will not waste even a drop. Um, I just press a little bit and then a little come out and then I just dab it on. Um, I love it. Everything I love. All the new stuff. So pretty much what I have is the new things um, is this for right here and so far I am loving all of this and yeah I have. my face is still not perfect to my liking but it's a lot better and I love that I am using retinol because it's definitely gonna help me with what I'm really getting afraid of which is aging so yeah, that is my new skincare routine for morning and night. And I haven't really been using face masks recently in the last few weeks because I've been lazy. Plus, I don't know. I'm just loving how it is. I don't want to add any other stuff for now. Though, I did order a face mask that is supposed to be for anti-aging as well. Um, I think it's going to come not tomorrow but the following day. So, I may show you that to you guys next weekend. I may or may not. Depends on if I remember and if I use it already. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to show that to you guys. Um, by the way, tomorrow, I have to work. It's the day after New Year's and I have to work. Because someone decided or someone forgot to block off the day. And so, people scheduled patients and therefore, we gotta work. It sucks. What are we doing over here? What are we doing? Is there something under there? What's under there? Haru's paws are underneath. Oh, there's a ball. Oh, let's get it. Oh, did I get it? Do I have it? Oh, don't scratch me. Okay, there's your ball. 
So I am currently, well, I'm done for now. I'm gonna do the rest tomorrow. But I'm replacing the felt pads on the bottom of these chairs for the dining room table because they keep doing this. They keep like peeling off and so like that they don't stay on so you sit on the chair you move around a little bit the pad, pad falls off and then the chair is wobbly and it uh, just doesn't work right so we're using these ones here we picked them up from Home Depot uh, but basically you drill a hole into the leg put in the little anchor there and then you screw in the, the pads and uh, so I did it to this chair here and uh, so far it looks pretty good. You just screw them on out like that. But I drilled, uh, they're actually pretty big holes. I was actually pretty surprised about the, the size of the drill bit needed to drill these holes. It's a pretty big drill bit. I thought you were gonna break the, the leg of the chair. I thought I was gonna break the leg. How much hole you're gonna put. Yeah. Weak in the, weak in the wood so that you sit on the chair and we'll just break. Yeah. If it does, then we'll just have to get the chairs. Yep. But I hope not. Yeah. I, I think it'll be all right because the anchor adds, anchor in the screw kind of fills in the hole. So I think it'll be all right. But it slides actually a lot better now with those uh, pads on it. So. So, so far, I like it.